Hey guys, welcome back. I have another CRT I want to go over. So, I don't know, about a week ago, I showed you guys a CRT that looks pretty much like this. Oddly enough, they're not the same exact model. And I figured I'd look over this one. Luckily, this one doesn't seem to have any discoloration or any other issues like the sharp I previously looked at. But let's give it a go and look. Also, I don't remember if the remote came with this one or the other one. It works with both because it's close enough, but we won't really be using it. We're just going to have a basic overview and then use the N64 like last time. So, the front's the same. There's a little port for the RF reader, the power button. Volume up and down, channel up and down. Then we have RCA composite and RCA mono audio in. Flashes with the red input when it turns on. Nothing too crazy. And on the back, we have RFN. So, almost the exact same as the other one. I don't know what exact differences there are. I think it's mostly internal because this is a 13N slash M100B. The one I looked at last time, if I recall, was a 13N slash M100. So I guess this is just a revision of it. I don't know what was all different or if they just brought it back because this one was made in July 2001. So if anybody knows in the comments, let me know. One is looking fine. When I tested it last, there was no discoloration, no issues. I'm going to try to see if I can get the RF working. So last time, for some reason, my RF wasn't working with anything. So we'll try that with the N64 and go from there. Now I'm going to use this weird third party one. I got it and I'm hoping it works, maybe. What a weird thing. Input channel 10. I don't know what they programmed this for, but it's kind of crazy. Again, I have no idea why my RF devices are not working at all. All right, it should be working. Yeah. So last time we worked at Star Fox 64. This time I'm going to be doing Pilot Wing 64. I forgot to turn the volume back up. Again, that audio from the mono speaker is pretty sufficient. Hey, bada bing, bada boom. So it looks like it's cut off on the bottom and I don't know if that's the TV or just this game. I'm gonna reset, try a different game. There are actually different resolutions that the N64 can show. So we will do Star Fox just because last time that worked fine on the other unit. And I don't think it will cut off at all this time. Yeah, it's the full screen. I think maybe a little bit's cut off at the bottom, but it's not like an alarming amount. 
This probably does need adjusted just like the other one in a different way. Oh yeah, it's like warping down there a little bit. That's weird. Yeah, it's like warping at the bottom. So... So there's another overview. Like I said, this isn't going to be in depth at all. Uh, I am not going to open up this one and try to clean it just because I don't see a need to at the moment. It's in a lot better condition, like cosmetically, and I don't need it needs any major adjustments at the moment. And not what I'm going to use it for. So hope this gives you guys an idea what the unit's like. Uh, if I do get some skills or idea of how to adjust this one and the other one, I will do a follow-up video for both. So until then, if that does happen, stay safe. Take care. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.